Hello and welcome back to a new video. Today's video will be all about containers. So if you find this information useful, please smash the like button and consider subscribing. At the moment I'm heading towards Blackburn. I have a 20 foot container behind me on my trailer. We will get there in about 30 minutes. For you will be just a couple of seconds, of course. And I will show you how to shrink the trailer because the container at this moment is in the middle of the trailer so we have to shrink it and get it tipped or unloaded yeah so let's go okay so as you can see right now the container is in the middle of the trailer first thing you want to make sure is that these things are in this position if they are up you won't be able to slide the container all the way back so first thing we're gonna do is pull the park brake and see these pins right here this is in the uh, 20 lock position yeah so these pins will go in when we press this button right here so you can see now they're starting to retract if they're not moving don't worry about it as soon as you're gonna release the the handbrake they will go in okay let's try and do that so what we're we gonna do now the trailer is locked, right? It's in parking place, it's in the parking position and it's locked. So we're gonna reverse the unit so that the whole thing will slide back. Yeah, just select reverse. This is the handbrake. If it doesn't budge, do a couple of pulls, just back and forward, back and forward. There we go, started to move. Now the pins are in, they are unlocked and the box will just slide towards the back Just go until you hit the end That's it So as you can see now The box is all the way to the back and you can unload the container Just to be sure, you can pull the locking pins and they will lock into this position right here. Okay, once you're finished, do the process in the opposite order, right? Put the pins in, pins will go in. Now just drive all the way to the front so we can extend the trailer go all the way to the front now we've reached the end, right? what I do is go a bit in reverse I will show you why in a second let's go a bit in reverse, that's it because we want the container in position number three which is right here so the pins are now somewhere around here yeah and we need to get them on this lock so we're gonna pull the pins out so they will come out somewhere around here right and we're gonna drive forward so that they are locked into the third position that's it do a quick check this pin is out in position number three now check the other side this pin is locked in position number three okay uh, the 20 foot containers on the on these trailers are staying on the middle of the trailer so right here and right here if you're gonna have two 20 foot boxes you're gonna put it right here and lock it here same goes in the back they will stay here 
and not here they're gonna sit on this on these locks when they are opened yeah okay that's about it about the 20 foot containers don't forget to do the twist locks before you before you lift off the box very easy four locks just twist and that's it Okay, next thing I want to show you is how to do the setup for the 40 foot container. We want to lift off these locks right here in the front. These are for the 45 foot. Uh, they are the same, same length, but you have to shift the container to come a bit forward to put the 45. It's basically the same, uh, it's just a, a matter of weight distribution and length. So with the 45 being longer than the 40, you're gonna, just gonna come forward how much i don't know 10 centimeters 15 centimeters something like that so we're now gonna set up the 40 lift off this one we're gonna drop down this one same with this one we drop it down put this one in position like that Lift this one, set it in position, make sure it's locked here and here. Drop this one down. Drop this one down. Lift off this one. So we have to move from position number three to position number four. So we pull the park brake put the pins in and just drive forward okay that's it I release the brake and the pins are gonna come out hopefully yeah they will there we go pins are out in position number four Okay, now that the box is on, we can start the engine. Give it a thumbs up, and that's it. Follow the signs towards the exit. Okay, next thing to do, very easy, the twist locks. You should always, when in the container it's in this state, you should check if, it, if it's got any leaks, or something like that. looks dry anyway we are uh, loading recycling stuff so, in this one so it doesn't matter take this off we don't need it with the twist locks and that's it ready to go okay so um, I would just like to explain a couple of things uh, regarding the uh, the 40 and the 45 foot containers right <clears throat> so remember i've told you the 45 goes in here but basically the containers are the same length at the base yeah so the 45 container will be up to here but it will have this same mechanism the same lock the same distance between the locks the only difference is that we shrink the trailer so that the container will fit in here you can actually put here this container 45 but you just need to, sh to shrink the trailer if it makes sense see at the minute we are in position number four yeah this is the uh, this is the end we are in position number four and if we move it to number three it will be smaller so the boxes will stay on the other pin 
I'm not entirely sure why you have to move the 45 to the front and leave the 40 to the back might have something to do with the weight uh, or the length or something I'm not sure I cannot give you this information but uh, I've seen new trailers doesn't have this thing anymore so you can f you can fit a 45 and a 40 in the same exact position you don't have to move it anymore the only thing that moves on those trailers are the middle so you can unload the uh, the 20 foot boxes i even know a couple of companies uh, in liverpool and around who always carry the containers in front they never move them they always keep them in front the 40 and the 45 in the pins in the front so you don't have to move them back and forth each time right opening the doors sometimes it can, this can be tricky because the containers are very high so i would suggest always drop the air out just open the doors going into the Liverpool docks I want to go straight ahead right here if you ask that guy at the barrier he's gonna tell you second left and you're be gonna be tempted to go that way um, he told me the same thing about four years ago and I've seen a recent vlogger doing the same thing he tells you second left I don't know where he sees that second left but whatever it's just confusing and uh, misleading so you want to go straight ahead these are some kind of scanning gates right here and the light will, will flash I think it's scanning the inside thermal or I don't know just have to pass slowly through it and it looks like we are very lucky because it's quiet in the docks it's uh, Friday afternoon going through here if you have a uh, dock card you need to scan it right here then select the, cr the crawler gear and go really really slowly because the weight bridge is right here yeah so this right here is the weight bridge you have to go really really slowly I might be going too fast okay should be okay we'll see in a second scan your card have your VBS number ready we are alone we have PPE come on it's wet Come on! White bit. So yeah, select drop. Select no, it doesn't have any damage. I don't know what's wrong with this. Get the ticket and it says T1 pad, which is the easiest one. so they call the terminal one the pad because there are some pads I don't know why they call them like that but it's uh, literally just straight ahead it's very quiet on the docks right now So if it's just free like this, you can go on whatever bay you want. It makes no difference whatsoever. Once you open your twist locks and you've reversed here, you have to scan your card. It's 
select the lane, scan the card, and then just wait for the for the crane. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you found this information useful. Just a reminder, I'm not a trained person. If you've been trained by anybody else, please listen to your trainer. This is only the way I do things and I might be wrong. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers, bye.